This is tutorial 12, case problem 1. We begin by opening a file called Pixel, and then we do a Save As, and we save it as Pixel Sales Report. In the documentation sheet, fill in your name and the date, and then access your Sales Sheet. Take a look at your Sales Sheet to get familiar with how it works. You'll see that there's a drop-down list in cell C4 where we can select among regions. Then the region that's selected is supposed to display here in columns E and F. And so these figures, this 11,000 for example, is a linking formula that links to another workbook. Let me expand my formula bar and you can see that this formula is actually linked to cell B7 in the region 1 sheet of the regions file, a different file. And if we go down to the next cell, you'll see it's nearly identical, except that that access is B8. So what our purpose here is to, we want to be able to have the user click the down arrow here and select a region, and then we want our macro to change that region to whatever region they select. So let's say they select region 3, then we want this to say region 3, and therefore to pull the information about region 3 from that particular sheet. So that's where we're headed. They want me to assign a macro to the Go button, which you do by right-clicking. If you choose Assign Macro, you get the Assign Macro dialog box. Now right now, it doesn't ha I don't have any macros, so you don't see anything. And right now it's wanting to call this by default button one click. But that's not a very good name. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the name to Retrieve Sales. And we'll click New to record this macro. That opens the Visual Basic Editor and it creates a subroutine for us. Notice the command sub retrieve sales. This begins the subroutine. And then we have our in sub at the bottom. Now what we're to do is to type in some code to create that macro. We begin by declaring two variables, the old region and the new region variable. I'll go ahead and enter all of the code, placing it between the sub and the in sub command. And so the first command is the dim command, which declares a variable. So we're declaring old region as a string and new region as a string. And then we're setting the value. Old region is equal to E2 and new region is equal to C4. Let's Alt F11 and see if we can understand that. The old region is whatever is here. And then when we click the down arrow and select a new region, that cell will be the new region. Alt F11 to go back again. This is just kind of um, trimming. This is causing the status bar while it's retrieving the data to say retrieving data on space and then it's using the ampersand to string in that variable new region. So this if for example we were to select region 3 this would say retrieving data on region 3. Application screen updating false just tells the computer not to blink or to update the, update the screens during the execution of the macro and it just makes things look cleaner. This line is the line that's actually making the whole thing work. This says in the range E2 through F9, that's where our little table is, to replace old region or region 1 with new region or region 3. Return our status bar to its original condition and we once again allow screen updating. So let's press Alt F11. Let's try it. Let's select region 3 and let's click Go. So do you see how it selected region 3? And if we look at our formula bar we can see that that formula was changed to region 3. Try region 15 and click Go and that seems to be working well. One last thing they asked us to do is under the View tab, you'll find a place where you can show grid lines. They asked us to turn off the grid lines. And then we'll save our file before closing.